I wrote Eating for Beginners because I wanted the opportunity to learn about food for myself. I had read a lot about food. I felt like I was being constantly inundated with prescriptions about what to eat and what not to eat. And I found all the information very hard to manage. And so I kind of wanted just to get back to the food itself. I wanted to just be around food. And Applewood, the restaurant where I worked doing research for the book, was a great place to do that because they had already covered all those variables. So all I had to do was be there and think about the food itself, how to cook the food, what was the food, where did the food come from. Probably my desire to do this was exacerbated by the fact not only that I had a child, but that my child was starting, as I had this idea for this book, to not want to eat anything. And it was so maddening to me and to my husband that we had all these good intentions about what we were supposed to feed him, and he just didn't care. I mean, <laughs> as kids often don't care about what their parents care about. So I think it was, it, that was sort of a, a little bit of external pressure that maybe, you know, pushed me forward. But really, I wanted to know this for myself. I was tired of being in the supermarket or at the, the green market and not knowing what to buy or seeing things, especially at the, at the green market, that looked great, but that I had no idea what to do with. Eating for Beginners is about journeys. It's about a journey through a restaurant kitchen to become a better chef. It's about journeys, literal and figurative, to various farms to learn how food is produced, small farms. And it's about the crazy journey of being a parent to a, you know, a child who is wonderful but, but rebellious when it comes to food. The recipes fit in, I think, as a sort of fourth strand to the narrative. They are not random. They're chosen for very specific reasons at the ends of the chapters in which they appear. It's sort of a little side benefit of the book. I think that, you know, you don't have to spend a year cooking in the kitchen at Applewood to actually be able to reproduce, hopefully, some of the things that they make.